Hey guys, this is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my wrestling tutorials. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you how to build a cool chicken farm. Now, as you can see in front of me, we've got like a chamber down here with a ton of chickens in it. And up the top here, we've got some chickens laying eggs. Now, these chickens are ready to be eaten, so all we have to do is flick this lever up, which then turns off this clock I have up here and sets um, them on fire down here. So as you can see, it is quite the massacre right now. They're just, I don't know, poor chickens, I'm sorry. It's, it's for the good, it's for the good, we need food. So as we take a look in this chest here, we can see that it is filling up quite a lot. So let's see how much cooked chicken we have got. I'm not sure how many chickens were in there though. So looks like we're getting a lot of cooked chicken, so yeah, that's the cool chicken farm and now I'm going to show you how to build it. So what you are going to need is 12 hoppers, one redstone comparator, one redstone torch, one lever, two dispensers, one fence gate, one chest, one flint and steel, and some building blocks. I've just got some extra in here because I'm going to be doing some decoration. I also recommend that you do this type of decoration as well as it looks really good. The first thing that we are going to do is create a 5x5 five five square by putting three high pillars in the corners. So we'll start with one three high pillar here, we'll leave three spaces and on the fourth one create another three high pillar, go back three spaces, fourth one three high pillar and I can guess what you're thinking, three spaces and a three high pillar. <laughs> three spaces and a three high pillar. What was I thinking? Now at the front here, in the center of these two pillars here, place your chest. Now go behind it and get your hoppers out and you wanna place a hopper going into there, there and there. Now come around the sides and place hoppers going into those three. And then hoppers going into those three on that side. Now what this will do is, say if I put a hop a item in here it will go into that one, then it will go straight into this chest here. So you can do some decoration here. I've just started to place some stone in between the pillars here on the same layer as the hoppers. So I think it looks really nice. But you can do whatever you want. I suggest that you only use stone materials as there's going to be fire involved in this. And you know what fire does. Yeah, burn stuff. So for my decoration, I've just done some stone, some glass, and then some stone bricks up here to match the pillars. Now come over to this right corner here, and what we want to do is you want to leave one space and then create a three high pillar. Go back that way, leave one space, create another three high pillar. Now at the front here, you want to place some blocks down. So you want to place two blocks in between that gap there. Or in that gap there, not in between the gap. You want to place two there, and then you can place another two there. On this top block here at the front, place your lever. Behind it, we want to place a redstone torch. Now come inside your chamber, and the glass block next to that redstone torch, destroy it, and then place a dispenser there, and it should face into this area. Now we're just going to place blocks in between, in those gaps there place a block above this torch here. Now we want to get out some blocks and inside the chamber here we want to place blocks on the inside. It doesn't matter if it's a full block or, or it's a half slab, just place it on the inside and make sure you leave the middle one free. Now where this block is above the torch we want to place a hopper on top of it and then place one to the right of it with the hopper going into it. Destroy this one and then place it back with the hopper going into that and what this will do is it will go back and forth through the dispensers hold up currently because the torch is on um, it's stopping it but if we just flick that lever down and we go back up and place it in the block will go back and forth between the hoppers and this gives a clock effect which will then um, dispense or will, will power the dispenser Come to this left hopper here and you want to place a comparator facing away next to it. Place a block in front of the comparator. Now, when we put in our item, you'll see that this comparator is flashing on and off with power. So we're going to be having our dispenser 
next to this block here. So go inside the hole, face upwards, and we'll just see if we can hop in this. There we go. You want to make sure the dispenser is facing down and place it on this block here. There we go. And we should be trapped in here now. No. Now we want to place our fence gate, but we actually have to have a solid block under it. So what you need to do is this middle hopper here, place a block on top of it, place a fence gate on top of there, and then destroy that block. Now, once you've placed your fence gate, open it. And what this will do is I figured out if an egg is thrown at it, it will actually break on it. Even though you can actually still walk through it, the egg, for some reason, breaks on it. And now, when it breaks on it, the chicken doesn't get stuck in it. Um, I wanted to do this just so the egg doesn't come down and hit the chickens that are already in there. I'm not sure if it stops them spawning, but it's just better to do this. What I mean by not spawning is if the egg hit a chicken. I'm not sure if it would spawn then, not if it hit the fence gate. Now cover up the hole there, and on top of this dispenser here, place a hopper going into it, and now this is where your chickens are going to be at the top, which are going to lay the eggs, which then are going to the dispenser here. So what I'm going to do for mine is I'm going to go create four high pillars on these corners here. So we'll go one, two, three, four. Ouch. One, two, three, four. And this one's already a good comparator, but one, two, three, and then four here. Just build some blocks up in these gaps here to the height of the hopper. I'm going to place one layer of glass in between the gaps, and then my stone bricks on top of the glass there. Now what you can do is get your eggs and start firing them into here. Now it's going to be a slow progress when you first start out. It's usually when you that usually happens when you have a chicken farm, but over time you're going to have heaps of eggs and also you're going to get extra ones. So if you left this for a while, you're eventually going to start getting eggs in here from the chickens that are fully grown in there. So that will be good so you can get them start putting them in there and they'll start laying more eggs which will create more chickens down here and it's just a continuous process. Now a couple more things we've got to do, we've actually got to put this flint and steel inside that dispenser there. So we'll stick that flint and steel in there and then when that's turned on it will put a flame out. Then in one of the hoppers up here place a block or an item. So I'm just going to stick one bit of glass in here and you can see that it's going back and forth. We can flick this lever here and you'll notice that that dispenser just flicked the fire. Now when you're doing this, um, just leave this constantly going and then over time, uh, probably a couple of, couple of or four Minecraft days, flick it off and then your chickens will burn and it will drop to cooked chicken, which is really good. Now that is essentially it, but I'm going to finish it off. So if you want to continue and just watch how I decorate this for the rest of it, um, you can watch this, but if you want to decide how you want to decorate it, you can leave now, that's all good. But Remember to leave a like before you leave, guys. So I'm just going to decorate this right now. I've just got some quartz stairs. Now, I've actually designed this so it actually fits this design. So we're going to be putting quartz blocks around the edge here. And I love the corner um, blocks here. Then what I like to do is, on top of these hoppers, just place quartz half slabs. And then we're going to go up to the top here place quartz stairs going around and then we're just going to fill that in until it's got one half slab on top there. So there we go, that is it. We have completed our chicken farm. Now I'm going to get this baby running so I'll come back in a second when they start laying eggs and I've still got to spawn them as well so I'll come back in a second. So our chickens are keen and eager to start laying. They should be starting to lay soon. So we'll just wait until the first um, chickens start to come. So we'll flick this lever down and start the clock off. So as you can see, my chamber is getting quite the full. Now what I'm going to do is I want to stop the process of shooting the eggs out. And I want to set this on fire and get me some food because I am starving right now. A cray has got to eat.
So, boom, here we go. They're all going to start running around everywhere. The chicken is going to fall into the hoppers. And as you can see, we should be getting some cooked chicken. Ah, here they are. What the hell? That was weird. Alright, well, the chicken will come last. That was weird, but it still works. So we got... How much chicken did we get? Holy crap, that was a lot. We got 36 cooked chicken. That is great. I am going to be set for probably a couple of weeks. Hello there, donkey. You want some chicken? Well, you're not getting any. Yeah, it's all for mine. It's all for me. For the cray. So there we go. That is the chicken farm. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please leave a like. If you want to see more, remember to subscribe. And if you have any ideas for tutorials, please leave them in the comments. I actually have been reading them, just I really haven't got any really good suggestions yet. Like, people have said really simple stuff, stuff. so guys, come on, you can suggest some really good stuff. I can't think of all this by myself. So, again, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.